Hey, it's Pete, and today I'm going to talk about how to be persistent and the meaning of persistent. In the book, Think and Grow Rich, Napoleon Hill talks about the 13 key elements of success, and persistence is one of those keys. So, how to be persistent is really a state of mind. It's something you can cultivate, and I want to give you four keys that you can use to help develop more persistence in your life. Uh, number one, the first key to how to be more persistent is a definiteness of purpose. It's really having a clear understanding of what your why is and why you're going for it to the point that you've got a burning desire within you to achieve it and you really won't be denied so you're going to be persistent in taking action towards it. A second key on how to be persistent is self-reliance. It's, it's a knowing that you have the ability to, to follow the plan you come up with and, and reach that goal and achieve that. The third key is the key of a habit. It's really developing habits of persistence. You know, what we do on a daily basis is who we are and who we become. So you want to be consistent. As you are consistent, you'll begin to develop more persistence in your actions. The fourth key on how to be persistent is making sure you have a mastermind group, an inner circle, a group around you that's going to support you and, and help push you and guide you towards that goal that you're trying to achieve. Now, a couple signs that you're, you're lacking in persistence. Uh, number one, if you're feeling discouragement and indifference, really that's just a sign that your, your desire isn't, isn't strong enough. You're not really clear on what your why is and why you're doing it. So you really want to get focused and clear on that, get clarity on it, and increase that level of desire within you to persist forward. And then another sign is that you're, if you're letting fear of criticism really drive your actions, again, if you're worried about what people are going to say and what they're going to think, and if that's more important to you than the actual achievement of your goal and that desire within you, you're not going to be persistent. And if you're not persistent, you're likely going to fail. So I hope these keys are helpful for you in learning how to be more persistent. You know, the cool thing is that persistent people, they have a knack for reaching the top, no matter how many times they may fail or fall down along the way. And then people will just be like, oh, you know, bravo. I, knew, I always knew that you would make it once you do make it to the top. So hopefully it helps you in learning how to be more persistent. Uh, go ahead and click the link below this video and you can actually join our mastermind for more tips on how to be successful and to help you be persistent as well. Make it a great day. I'll talk to you soon.